Where's Charlie showing up? Charlie's not coming over. Is he sick? No. Did he get caught up at work? No. Is he a surprise entrant in this year's Royal Rumble? <laughs> Dude, Charlie's just not coming over. Dude, why not? <sighs> you do know Charlie's been getting on my last nerve, right? You know, with all the corny jokes, the awkwardness, the malpropisms. I just, that's too much. I can understand everything but that last part. Dude, I don't hate Charlie. He is the only person that knows how to play Brighton Rock on the guitar. It's just, I need a break from him. Uh, you just killed the mood for pudding. He, Charlie doesn't even know we're here, so there's no harm, no foul. Be better if he had a girl. That wouldn't be a bad idea. <laughs> to get Charlie a girl. We have to focus on numero uno. What kind of girls do you think Charlie would go for? Hmm. I picture him with the cute librarian type who's smart, wears glasses, and also likes comics and games like he does. Brian, you do know those type of girls don't exist, right? They're made up from TV producers writing about girls they wish they had. We might as well be hooking up Charlie with a unicorn. Okay, if you're so smart, what kind of girl do you think Charlie would like? Good question. Let's take a look. Charlie's a metalhead. He definitely would want a girl that would dominate him. So I'm thinking of Valkyrie, lots of tattoos, and she may or may not be bi. And wears glasses. Fine, I'll let you have that one. <laughs> we can call her bifocals. You really think he would go for a girl like that? I have one way that we can find out. Who is it? Jasmine. Jasmine, are you the key master? I can be anything you want me to be. Stephen hired me to show you a good time. Are you a hooker? Call girl. Works for me. So what do you what do you say we uh, get in the mood first? I've got some Three Stooges films we can watch. Have you ever done this before? Yeah, I've done this before. As far as you know, I've just never done it with a, a professional. Uh, come to think of it, can you give me a second? Seriously, Charlie's calling me. Wonder what he wants. Hello, Stephen. I I need your help with something. I. Kinda have a call girl in my house. Can you help me out? Seriously, you're giving me a call? You're way beyond hope, bro. Look, I need your advice. You didn't come with an instruction manual. Yeah, they do. It's called the Karma Sutra. Read it. Brian, looks like we're taking a trip to Charlie's. Now you want to go to Charlie's. Well, I don't want my money to go to waste. Shoot. Listen, baby, I can make all your dreams come true. How can you get me to perform with Black Sabbath? Come on, just tell Jasmine what you want me to do. Can you dress like Harley Quinn? Is that one of your fantasies? No, it's one of Steven's fantasies. I want to beat him to it. How about you start by giving me a kiss? That's the power of love! Listen, you tell me what you want me to do. I've heard it all. I've had guys... Uh, I don't to... want to hear it. It may sound gross, but it's actually kind of uh, cool. No, no, I don't want to hear it. You know what? Now's a pretty good time for some guitar practice. I don't know why you have a problem hearing about this. Okay, I can take a hint. Baby, the guitar's gonna be in there in the morning. I won't. So what do you want to do? Well, I would kind of like to get motorboated by ya. You want to be motorboated by me. I don't see anyone else here. That's what I'm talking about. By, by the way, are you old enough to be doing this? Why would you even ask that? Well, you know, you look kind of young, and I don't want to introduce myself to the neighbors through Megan's Law. I resent that remark. I'm all woman. Sorry. Would you read me a story? What? That's preposterous. I refuse. 
After spending a few years in the dungeons of Berlin, the magician David realized that he no longer needed magic pixie dust to record his spells. He recorded many creative spells, such as Heroes, Low, and The Lodger, while he... Bit nappy. I gotta go get that. Where's the girl, man? Where's the girl? Steven, what are you doing here? Well, obviously someone's gonna be fudging the call girl tonight. What the devil was that? I, I, don't, I don't know, I just lost the mother love and ability to curse. Edited for television? Forget that! Well, obviously I'm here because you don't know what you're doing with girls, so I'm here to take over. Okay. Brian, why are you here? Hmm. You know, I never thought about that. Why are any of us here? Does life have a meaning? Brian? I mean, were we put on the surface to work and drive in traffic, or is there more to it? Brian is clearly going through an esoteric dilemma right now. Brian, snap out of it. I just realized, life has no meaning. There's just no getting over this. You know what? I thought you had the last of my crunch bar. I think I can learn to live with this. That's good to hear. Well, now that that's taken care of, I got a date with destiny. <laughs> that might get to her first. Those guys worry too much. Steven, what makes you think you could just take Jasmine from me? I paid for her. And until one of you does something, you're going to continue to pay for me. Charlie. I didn't mean to ask you, would you rather have some nice librarian or this smelly pirate hooker? Uh, she's definitely not smelly. And I'm relatively sure she's not a pirate. Listen, I'm on the clock here. Is one of you going to do something? Well, which one of us do you want? <laughs> Come on, Brian, you're in this too now. Wait a minute, this isn't getting us anywhere. Jasmine, these guys don't know you the way I do. You've known me for 20 minutes. Fifteen longer than these guys. You really like her, don't you? Yeah. Ha! I win! I'll take that as a moral victory. What? You cheated. I never even got to introduce to my sexy librarian. Oh, and where were you going to find a sexy librarian? At the sexy library. Guys, a little privacy, please. You're still hot. What's that supposed to mean? Lemmy once said he never went to bed with an ugly one, but he's woken up next to them. And I was kind of worried something like that might happen. I see. I just want to let you know that last night was superfluous. I don't want it to ever end. That's sweet, but I guess it's time to come clean about something. I'm only 16. <clears throat> Calm down, I'm just kidding. Uh, first you screw me, then you screw with me. That's how it works. So what now? Usually I just leave. Oh, I can't kick you out, that's rude. It's not rude, it's business. If you've got the money, I can stay all day, hon. Do you accept confetti? With that, I'm gonna go. I, I got credit, debit, bison bucks. I make a mean grilled cheese sandwich. I can play war pigs for you. I gotta get to work. <laughs> <laughs>